I want to share in sense enthusiasm. The facts of the matter is the province of Ontario made by the people and should be run by the people and the people are here at Queen's Park speaking out. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, let me say this in a brief minute I have the stage. The reality is we need good quality public service. It's essential to the good of the province of Ontario. Let me also say, to support good public service, good public jobs, providing opportunities not just for this generation, but the next generation, you need jobs in the private sector to support jobs in the public sector. So I stand up here today and I say to Premier McGinty, you made a commitment to the citizens of the North that you would provide support to Ontario Northland. But since you've been elected, you have cut the legs off of the economic and social well-being of the North by eliminating the Ontario Northland. So Mr. McGinty, you can't renege on your commitments when you're elected in power. The citizens will not allow it to happen. And let me also say, and let me also say to the racing industry, as others have said, you can't destroy an entire sector. I recall when gaming was expanded in the province of Ontario. It was to enhance gaming, not to destroy gaming. You can't destroy 60,000 jobs, therefore 60,000 people not paying taxes for, for the necessary needs of the public. Last but not least, brothers and sisters, there's a lot of retirees here today. Those retirees, those retirees have built a wonderful country through political and social activism. But what they wanted, what they wanted, what they wanted, what they wanted was the next generation to have better opportunity than they had. And today, brothers and sisters, that next opportunity is not nearly as bright without having an industrial strategy for good jobs that pay good wages, pays good benefits, pays good benefits. Capital should not be able to move from one city to another city, from one country to another, regardless of the consequences it has on workers and communities. Governments must stand up for the people of Ontario. Governments must stand up for the people of Canada. People must stand up and fight for equality, economic and social justice, but it all begins with jobs and opportunities. Once again, brothers and sisters, keep the faith, keep fighting, demand justice, and if we fight hard enough, we will succeed.